in more recent years, the popular Ciro or Guillotine Splicer has been used. They're hard to find and they cost a hundred times more than the uh, Junior Splicer from Kodak cost me back in the 1940s. Film is laid down on top of the pins and the end is trimmed with a guillotine. The same thing has to be done with the other end, which of course wants to <clears throat> stick up in the air. The two ends are then laid down over the midsection of the splicer and because they want to fly off into space they're clamped. There we go on the midpoint. Now my fingers are pretty large to grab this tape and I find that I have to keep a pair of tweezers nearby to pick the tape up when it wants to sail off somewhere else or stick to itself. A holder is placed over the film to, as the clamps have to be taken away and the cutter is pushed down on the film. The cutter has inside it little cutters to punch out uh, three of them to punch out the tape and uh, two sides, sidebars to uh, cut the edges of the tape. Now one of the nice things about this is that the tape has a tab that wraps around the film. So on a hard flat surface the tape is rolled around the film and then burnished. I do it with a roller, but you can do it with the end, the very smooth end of a screwdriver. And that's it. It's a very nice, sturdy splice when you get through with it.